Now let's start solving questions on Tom from gate. So the first question says we have a rigid link PQ which is 2 meters long. So this is 2 meters long okay, and is oriented at 20 degrees to the horizontal. So you can see this 20 degrees to the horizontal. The magnitude and the direction of velocity VQ and the direction of VP are given. So VQ the magnitude is also given the direction is also given. Uh, the horizontal angle is 45 and the value is 1 meter per second and the direction of VP is given. We don't know the magnitude of VP. Okay, what is the magnitude of VP in meters per second at this particular instant? Now, when this word comes means you have to find out the value of this VP at this particular moment means I will use the instantaneous center method. So, for that I will have to find out the instantaneous center for this configuration. Okay. So, what will I do? I will draw a line which is perpendicular to this velocity like this and I will draw a line which is perpendicular to this velocity which is like this. Okay. So, if this is 20 and this entire angle is 90, this will become 70. All right. Now, let me just write this Q on the outside and uh, you will have this Q. Okay. So, if this is 20 due to the parallel line theorem, this will also be 20. Okay. And uh, if this is 45, this will also be 45. Okay. And uh, 45, 45 is 90. 90 plus 45 is how much? It's again 135 and when you add 45 to 135, you get 180. So, this angle will also be 45. So, this is 45 plus 20 is 65. This is 70. So, this will be automatically 45 because the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180. So, this is I. Okay. So, at this instant, you will have your omega constant which is VQ upon QI is equal to VP upon PI. I know VQ, I need to find out VP. So, from this equation I can say that VP is equal to VQ into QI upon PI. I do not know the value of QI and PI. How do I find that out? Okay. So, look at this triangle PIQ. Start applying the sine rule to this. So, you will have sine 70 by QI okay, is equal to, so you will have, so I need QI and PI. So, for QI the opposite angle is 70, for PI the opposite angle is 65. So, I will write down sin 65 by pi and from this I can get a ratio for qi by pi and that would be sin 70 by sin 65. Okay. So, you can directly substitute this into this particular equation. Okay. Uh, this would be P i, this is a slight correction over here. Okay, so, you will be putting in P i by Q i which would be V Q into sin 65 by sin 70. So, the reciprocal of this, this would give you, this is 1 already given to you. You just need to find out sin 65 by sin 70 which is roughly 0.9645 meters per second. So, this is the magnitude of the velocity at point P and the direction is given to you. Alright, so this is how you use the instantaneous center method to calculate the velocity of a point on a link. So, I hope you got this. Now, let us move on to question number 2.